Well, it sounds like we've got ourselves a Billy. Let's get up on the hill here since we know he can't get here based on the angle he'd be coming from. Although it does seem like he's going to commit to us here, which is just fine. Okay. First game of the day and we're running into lockers. That's not what you want to see. Let's see if we can make it over to the next loop. Never mind. He's actually going to chainsaw past us. So we'll just go ahead and turn around. There's a chance he leaves here, but it actually sounds like he's committing to this. So let's make sure he's still chasing us. And it looks like he is. Let's go ahead and continue over to one of the strongest windows in the game. And there's a good chance he leaves us here. It's going to be surprising if he commits. All right, he's still committing. We've got a really strong loop here. We're not going to drop that pallet immediately. Let's see how he does with curving this here. We should be just fine with that distance. Let's wait around the corner and maybe never mind. It does sound like he's coming straight back, which is not ideal, but hopefully we can take the chase here. He definitely saw us, but he has no interest in chasing, which is not great. We should be able to get this save though. Never mind. We messed up our angle right at the beginning, which is not ideal. Unfortunate. I'm fairly certain he knows we're here. Yeah, he definitely does. So we take that hit. That might get him away from the hook though. Okay, never mind. They just kind of unhooked right away. That probably wasn't the best play, although at least it looks like he's not going for Nia here. He shouldn't be expecting us to come from this angle, but unfortunately he just saw us there. He's going to break that, and then is he going to go straight back? If he goes straight back, there's no way we get this. But it looks like he's actually going to commit. No, he's not. All right, he's going back. But he hasn't picked up yet. We definitely don't make it there without background player, but maybe if we go all the way around the edge here, I think we can get that. Perfect. That kind of makes up for the last one that we really messed up on. Now, is he going to commit to us after that? He's got to be a little upset, right? It actually looks like he kind of is, which is what we want him to do here. Let's go ahead and run back since he's trying to cut us off. Although it sounds like he figured that out relatively quickly. He is a ways back there, though. Let's not run all the way over to our friends who are healing there. We've got a pretty decent pallet to work with here. So we'll try to keep him busy for as long as we can. All right. I didn't expect him to end up on that side. Let's just get some distance here. We should never mind. GG, my friend. Moving on. Let's move in for the save just in case they go down here. We have not managed to do anything this game because he refuses to chase us. Maybe we can take a hit here. All right, well, we didn't take a hit, but we definitely stopped him from getting hit. And we've got a pretty decent pallet to work with here, especially if he's going to swing like that. All right, we should be able to hit this window in time, though. Perfect. He's not going to be able to get that hit. He is going to break that door down, or at least, yeah, it was the... What did he break? Was it the door or the pallet there? I'm not sure. Okay, we actually kind of lost him there for a second, which was unfortunate. It was the door. Okay, it was not the pallet. Let's see if we can make it somewhere else. All right, that might mess us up. Now, with Made for This, we're actually able to keep our distance on him, even with getting caught there. Let's see if he chooses to break that. We can get some more distance back to this pallet over here. Definitely a bit of an anticlimactic match there, but GG, my friend. Moving on. It definitely seems like she's getting a little too close for comfort here, and she is going to stop by the generator. Let's spin for the boys. That did not work out for us. But we do have made for this active now and the shack to play with. Although, I think we're just going to keep moving. That was really close. And try to get as much distance as possible. Since she's going to continue to try to set up her birds at different loops, thinking that we're going to use them. But if we just keep running forward, 
we should be able to make quite a bit of distance. She's a ways back there. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if she just stopped committing to this. It kind of seems like she has. What if we try to get her attention again? We're over here, my friend, and she is going to come over. Hopefully we don't mess up this stun. Well, we didn't get the stun, but we didn't die at least. Let's move away from the loop again. That's unfortunate, but she might leave here. So she's actually gone ahead and chased away the other survivor with a flashlight. I don't think she's going to expect us to be here. If she faces the window, which she did, we should have this just fine. Very nice. Let's follow that up with one more so they have more time to get away. All she had to do was face the wall there, but she did not, which is great for us. She does seem to be nearby. Alright, well I didn't see her there until it was far too late to react and our spin for the boys did nothing for us we're a little out of practice with the spin for the boys i'll be honest although it is a last resort they really don't work that often right it's something you do when you don't have any other options it's not really something you should rely on man she is just giving us this distance trying to set up those traps and they're not even hitting us which is unfortunate Let's try to lure her in here and then we'll hit this window. Let's go right back. But we are going to move away from this. And everybody should be out here. Perfect. GG, my friend. As long as he doesn't come through here, we should be fine. Although it doesn't seem like he heard us right there. Either he didn't hear our footsteps right there or he's just really focused on the survivor. But he definitely saw us there, right? Yeah, he did. That's unfortunate. Spin for the boys. That actually worked out. There's no way you pick up right there. Oh, he did. I am sorry about that, my friend. But that was just a little too good to pass up. And it does seem like he's going to commit to our other survivor friend there. Which is a bit unfortunate. Let's see if we... Okay... I thought for sure he was going to see us there. I was going to say, let's see if we can take a hit and distract him, but apparently he has just got no ears on today. We are most likely going to go down here since he does seem to just be camping the hook. Although maybe we should have just waited for them to unhook themselves. I always forget about the new hook camping rules. Although it does look like our friends are going to manage to get the save and do it in such a way that nobody goes down, at least not in the basement. Very nice there, Michaela. Although he is going for Dwight, so... Let's see if we can cut back and be there for our friend. We're definitely going to need background player if he picks up here. Perfect. Sorry about that again, my friend. Let's leave the area. Ghostface seems to be letting our friends go, which I definitely appreciate. Here you go, my friend. You can have my flashlight. GG, Mr. Ghostface. Yeah, he definitely goes down here, but there's no reason for Clown to suspect us. Perfect. I am sorry about that, my friend. It's always a bit unfortunate to lose your first hook, and we are just running into every wall. That was not intelligent. Wow. Now I wouldn't be surprised if he looks around a bit more here, although he probably won't suspect us since we were behind that really low wall. Perfect. Sorry about that, my friend. I always get really nervous when other survivors show up with a flashlight, right? I know they're trying to be helpful, and if I miss, then I might need to rely on them to get it. But I'm always worried that they're going to mess up the save, or that I'm going to mess up their save, depending on who really gets there first, right? And it looks like we've got a pretty decent pallet here. We might be able to outplay him with that bottle, yeah. He would definitely need the speed and the slowdown bottle to catch us there. And even then, it would be pretty hard, because both sides are pretty big. Maybe with a couple fakes, but we actually made it quite far. We're just kind of following this other injured survivor on accident. That's definitely not what we're meaning to do. How are you going to play this, my friend? It looks like he's going to break it, although I guess that was a fake of some kind. And we ran into another wall. We really need to be careful about running into walls. We should make this just fine. 
And once again, we're just kind of following this other injured survivor, so let's go outside instead here. Unfortunately, it looks like the survivor that's being chased is beelining straight for the hook, so it's going to make unhooking that survivor very difficult. But maybe we can get both if we manage to get this save here. Perfect. Background player definitely made that possible. Although we probably could have gotten the last two with old background player. I'm really not sure. It's hard to tell sometimes. I've tried to adapt to the new timing, but now my timing's all screwed up, so I can't tell what I would and wouldn't make. I cannot believe we got away with that. Let's see if we can go. He's not chasing us. Never mind. All right, we should be just fine here. Very nice. We are going to try to take his attention away from Michaela here. Let's see if he chooses to chase us through the main building. No, he's definitely not going to. That's unfortunate. All right, well, maybe we can get in there and take a hit for our friend. Okay, well, that's definitely not going to work, right? All right, he saw us there. That's unfortunate. That's definitely not what you want to see. Don't you shake your head at me. I'll shake my head at you. No, you know. Don't you tell me no. Don't you tell me no, Mr. Clown. If you pick up, I will... Oh my god, she had adrenaline. Oh my god. I think we're just going to go ahead and sacrifice ourselves here for Michaela since he's definitely not going to leave, right? This is not very becoming behavior, my friend. GG, Mr. Clown. GG. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like to help this video reach more eye holes and subscribe for more because there's always going to be more. Until next time, bye for now. Thank you.